Hello everyone, uh, taking a little detour from my usual reactions to do a review on the Kingdom Hearts 3. The game has finally been out now for, oh, about, well, I guess like a month. And, well, I'll just say spoilers because I'm going to talk about everything. So, <clears throat> if you haven't actually finished the game, probably shouldn't watch this review because I'm talking about everything. <laughs> Um, I'll start with a score. I will give this game an 8.9. I think that's a pretty good score. Um, I think that certain things in the game, like the camera work sometimes was a little wonky. And the interaction during a conversation, um, the pausing and the replies and things like that sometimes were a little off. But nothing enough to take you out of the storyline or anything like that. It's just sometimes, I think it's been in the other Kingdom Hearts games too. It's it's like the, the response time is a little off or something like that. Weird pauses and things like that. So there were some of those in this game too. But there are just a few. And then the attractions, the rides and things like that. They were cute. But I think sometimes they went on a little too long and did a little too much. And they kind of took away from the fighting, the actual battles. But um, they were still a fun addition to the game. Everything looked amazing. The game, to me, looked absolutely amazing. Storyline-wise for me, where were, where were Yuffie and, and Squall and, and, or Leon or um, Cloud and all of those people? They, they just forgot about them. Kyrie's storyline kind of irritated me it's like on the one hand she's very important and she's doing important things that are really like saving people's lives but then on the other hand they're still putting her as this like weak little female that needs to be saved and it, it kind of bothered me it was just like okay you gave her a keyblade you put her in training with axel and she still get yanked up and took away <laughs> at the end of the game so i gotta go save her again so that was a little just, you know, you kind of built her up to make it seem like she was going to be more important than she was in some aspects, but then, you know, of course, they can still just come and yank her away. Um, certain questions that were brought up and not answered, certain situations that made more questions, <laughs> like Xion being back in the organization didn't explain where she came from. She just popped up and was fighting. I keep thinking... That the whole Axel and Isa storyline, I don't know why I call Axel, Axel and uh, Isa, Isa and not Saix. Like I'm using one organization name and one real name. But anyway, their storyline, they're from Radiant Garden and so is Kyrie. And I keep thinking that this girl that all of a sudden now they're talking about the whole reason that they went and joined the organization was to find a friend of theirs that went missing. And for some reason, I feel like it's Kyrie, but then she would have been really young compared to Earth by Sleep when Ventus first met them in Radiant Garden. They were at least early teenagers, and Kyrie would have been still single digits. I wouldn't say any older than 10. So them being as good friends as they say they were kind of doesn't make sense, but then. I can't see who else they could be talking about as this friend that they wanted to find. So that's a, a question that came up. Um, the person in the organization that was a chosen one that wanted to atone. I thought it was Isa, but he said he went off the rails because <laughs> he got jealous of Axel making new friends. So then I'm thinking... Maybe Zimnus or Ansem, but when they got destroyed at the end, none of them really brought it up. So that is another question that came out. Unless it's Zigbar, it could be Zigbar, because as we found out in the end, Zigbar is Lushu, and so maybe it was his idea to set all this in motion to have some of the um organization members turn against uh, Xehanort. Mm. So that's another question. Is there? I feel like because we waited for the game for so long <laughs> and then it was finally announced it was coming out, 
that I just assumed, and I know I'm not the only one, but I just assumed that this was it. Like, all the questions were going to be answered, all the endings was going to come, you know, it was going to get either happy endings or people disappearing or whatever um, have you, but I didn't see it continuing on into another game, which obviously there is, even though there's going to be downloaded content, there still has to be a whole other game because the downloaded content isn't going to explain this Verum Rex video game that is now reality and Sora and Riku are stuck in it <laughs> or how he comes back how Kairi got back to the island because at the end when he faded away and she's still sitting there everybody's on the beach clearly he was able to save her and another thing that never was answered um all the times that Sora had like Weird things happen, like Ansem fighting him in Toy Story World and giving them the hint to find the hearts. And Zigbar did too in Hercules, um, said something about find following the hearts or whatever. So these weird things that kept happening. So yeah, there's a there's some questions that need to be answered. Um, but that's just me thinking everything was going to be wrapped up in a nice neat little bow, you know, and it wasn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so but I'll, I, overall just an amazing game look amazing storyline you know it has little plots here and there that need to be filled in but still great they kept up with the the cheesiness that can be kingdom hearts some of the the one-liners that came out it was just like oh boy <laughs> the whole um the friends are my power thing i think that's the saying it it was it they kept reinforcing that it, it literally was like Sora when everyone was taken away from him completely crumpled and like was nothing so the whole friends and and hearts being connected and everything like that they really tried to reinforce that in this one um I would say to anyone that has heard about this game and wants to play it like you definitely can just pick it up and play it you're not going to know what the hell's going on because you're not going to know any of the characters and there's so many other games that came before this one to tie into it that if you know it'll be expensive to go and buy every single game that's associated with King kingdom hearts but you know there's a lot of gamers that have played the other games and that you can go and like just support them and watch their channels because um yeah, there's Kingdom Hearts, there's Kingdom Hearts 2, there's Chain of Memories, there's Dream Drop Distance, and then I just recently found out this year about the whole um, Kingdom Hearts United Cross sex, which came before even Birth by Sleep characters, like they were the original Keyblade wielders, and it's just a lot to... A lot of information that you need to know to really, I think, enjoy the storyline in Kingdom Hearts 3. But just going in and playing a game for the visual aspects of it, it's an amazing game. And I love how they put, um, like, the Moogle challenges for the pictures and then finding the Mickeys and things like that. For, like, people who like to go around and find all the chests and just explore the worlds because you can really explore the worlds in this game. Like, Pirates of the Caribbean world is insane going underneath the water and the island and oh my lord like every single world is absolutely beautiful um frozen left a little bit to be desired because <laughs> it was literally just like you kept going up and down the hill and that was it or the mountain not the hill but the majority of the worlds they really have like that open world concept and them putting in extra little challenges for people i think was a nice way to get them to go out and explore the worlds not just do the main mission and then leave um so yeah all in all 8.9 storyline you know obviously we're going to get another game hopefully it doesn't take another 13 years um so amazing so amazing and even after all this time still just grabbed me, snatched me up, caught my attention, and I'm looking forward to what comes next between the downloading content and the next game and just how they choose to tie everything together. And I know this review is probably all over the place, but great game, visually stunning, storyline, good. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, if you really want to enjoy the storyline, do your research before you go in, check out the other characters that are going to be either in it or mentioned, because either way, um, but just great. I, I'm so excited. I, if they come out with any trailers of the downloaded content, I will be reacting to those, and if they don't, I'll just be reacting or doing a review of what the content was and how the storyline prog progressed. I'm like talking so fast, I'm stumbling over my words, but I was just that excited about this game and it really did not let me down at all. I might even change my score because there really wasn't a lot that I was disappointed in. I think the main thing was just the, the, the way that they went with Kyrie. It was just like, I'm going to give her a Keyblade and still let her get snatched up. But, you know, it was all good. Seeing all the groups of people from the different games come together, their own little cliques got back together. It was really... It was really cute. Um, yeah, so if you haven't checked it out, even though I just spoiled the majority of the game, all, all of the game, it's still worth playing just to see the amazingness of this game. Um, and I'm going to go and probably <laughs> look at it again <laughs> because I enjoyed it that much. So I hope you enjoyed my rambling in my so-called review. <laughs> Because I'm definitely not a gamer, but I gave my two cents since I did do a review on the um, the trailers and a reaction to those. And so I, yeah, thanks for spending the time with me and I will see everyone in my next reaction.